your national team into God's hands. <laughs> Commit Thomas Pape into <laughs> God's hands. <laughs> Commit the Ghana Premier League because we are tired of the truncations. Commit it into God's hands. And also, last but not the least, commit Samuel Buedu's future into God's hands. How? Rabbi. How? 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 Oh, 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 you are Billy Moida. Tamabu, you didn't come in Chile. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you Akeshika ever will leave me bad power be Jenewa me keshika. Jenewa. Nye fi o shu akeshi liga matwa. Eni sane ka ake kanye. Mhm. Eni me ke eni me ke sane. Ke hie sane. Ke hie sane. Ye Yesu ba me. Jomo wo. Jomo. Ye Yesu ba me. Amen. Amen. Powerful prayer. Powerful. Oh Charlie. No, Rabbi is in the spirit today. And on that rabbi spirit, let me start off from the doorsteps of the GFA. Let me read to you that letter that came through um, on Wednesday. It shocked everybody, actually. So it says, The Ghana Football Association has decided to put the Bet Power um, Premier League on hold. Now, this follows a motion on notice for injunction filed yesterday at the Human Rights Court by Ash Gold and served on the GFA's lawyers. Following the receipt of the motion, the association has decided to put the league on hold until the determination of a motion on notice for injunction by the court on October 14, 2022. Um, it goes further to say the GFA has subsequently communicated this to all sponsors, partner, partners and clubs. Now, the association wishes to urge all stakeholders, sponsors and partners and clubs who have invested in the league, players whose livelihoods depend on the league, match officials, administrators, officials, and supporters of the league to remain calm. goes further to say, the association will endeavor to seek redress for the prompt return of the league and ensure that the calendar is not further disrupted in this World Cup year. The Premier League was scheduled to enter March Day 4 this weekend. GFA Communications. Now remember that this injunction was actually served on them before the league actually kicked off. There was a first one which they decided to ignore. And then this one has come again. And this time around, the NSA themselves have also said that in the case that, let, let's say in the case that the GFA decided not to hold the league, they say that they and Qatar, they have closed their, their, their grounds. They will not give you any ground to go and play any football match. Just in case the legal ramifications double back to them as an umbrella body. So the NSA say that in, in, in light of this, um, halt on the league. They have also closed all the gates. Like the way, um, like the way this <laughs> this guy, what's the guy? The guy who locks the Kotoko gates. Seidu, Seidu Seidu Mba. Mba. The way Seidumba locks the gates of a Dago Jache when he doesn't like a manager. Coach, let me start on your doorstep with this. <laughs> the league is on hold after March. Hey, day Ghana three. Premier League. No this is the, the, how many times in how many years? No more. You see the letter you read. You say who has decided? <laughs> the Ghana Football Association. <laughs> I have a problem with that part of the letter. What's your problem? Ah, 
When the court speak, it is not for you to decide. Oh. You mean it is the law of the land? Abba humble in judge. I can judge you for near no. For near no. Ya de tabu akesi e pa. Eku ya donko. Uti ez no kai. Ose den. Me di judge him valid. Oh no mo. Ose a de de never to so. Judge him valid. Oh Charlie. You know those days when they were trying to disqualify us. Hey, Abba tu ano me kau na yeto. Just before coach goes on, so in the studio we may have coach himself, Nathan Kwao is here, Daniel Kranti is here, and making his first oh, panorama. Charlie, El Pichichi. It's been tough keeping my composure. Oh, Chichi! <laughs> <laughs> Evans, oh, for two months, <laughs> aka, a drop, a drop, a drop something very weak me. Who joined us? <laughs> the, the lunch one. Charlie, Charlie, today, today we chop some lunch for that. If you watch it. Oh, Charlie. Wait, Pichichi say today, no, then I watch it, the B-Y, you know why? Why? Say then, Omega 3 day inside. <laughs> Pichichi! Oh, Chichi! No, no, Charlie. I'm Today is Pichichi's sports panorama debut. Yeah, just, just so you know. It's just so the listeners know. Coach, <laughs> go ahead for me. So like I was saying, <laughs> an injunction violet has been put on the league. <laughs> you don't decide. You don't decide. decide. I've decided. Ah, you have decided that what? what? what are you so they could have, have decided otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. Like the way they decided before March day one and it doubled back to them again oh after March goodness. day three. Look, this thing should have been done with. Me, I said, if you go back to the genesis of this case, yeah. it's the Ash Gold case, yeah. the Ash Gold Intel Allied Matter. Mm -hmm. We've dealt with this thing here on countless occasions. Yeah. Severally, we've dealt with it here. Me, I said, there is nothing that could be so clear than the video evidence. We've, we've had such things take place in other jurisdictions. Mm -hmm. They have dealt with it quick, quick and smoothly. Mm -hmm. And they've moved on from there. Mm -hmm. Me, the aspect of that thing, I remember when the ruling came out, there were some criminality issues somewhere. Uh, matters of criminality are handled by the police. Oh. As to why those people who were uh, 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 who were told were were actually criminals in court, mm -hmm. they are working freely. And one uh, one of them is the one taking the <laughs> league to be put injunction valid to put on it. No more inna no ne ba wo be inna. But you see, Ghana, when there's an issue, in penny phone no be mu o no pa ba ba me. Every, every, and it is in every facet Look, of our society. I am telling Politics, you, that is why today, marriage, uh, everything you can find why it. That's we, we have gotten where we are. Yeah. <laughs> if the FA were left to apply the thing to the latter, handed over the matter to the police, and for the police to investigate that criminality aspect and dealt with the culprit, I come by this time, no, can you near? I'm telling you, by this time, we won't be where we are. We would have moved on. Hmm. But for me, look, it saddens my heart that the repercussions of this decision is going to affect everyone. As it stands, we are on hold for at least two weeks because the motion will be heard on the 14th. 14th. So we are on hold for at least two weeks. Can you imagine after the dismal performance of Kotoko in Africa, when is Hassafu playing? Um, very next next week. Me na feel basa basa ne. Yes, seven. Yeah, next week. Me na feel. You see, we are always setting ourselves up to go and fail. And this decision is going to contribute to us folk not progressing to the next stage of the competition because we are playing a team from Mali, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not going to be an easy ride. Though. Even with the league active, it was going to be difficult. It was going to be difficult. And look at the. Content of the letter. All those who what livelihood depends on the league, you yeah. are telling them to come down. Oh! 
Oh, honey, homo, 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 yeah, you may. Bo, even, calm down. even when the league is active, people are not getting paid and they uh, are hungry. What is this? And uh, you can imagine when uh, the league is sure. break. Homo, you go away. Is it people are, 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 are going to starve? I mean, nani, 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 nani. Because clubs will tell you, go home. Go home. Unye, Juma, where did you pay? Unye, Juma, where did you pay? How is the club even going to raise money? The bad power, uh, how much is the money? So this is the 1.3 million marketing. We are market that the league has been banned, has been decided. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> one million. One million. <laughs> nah, you see, look, at times uh, when we come and we sit here like this, we just have to control ourselves and try and massage and cover the thing. But if we really want to hit, we'll destroy the product once and for all. Because even the handlers of the pro, uh, of the commodity itself, they, they don't care, care about it. Granty normally says they, they don't care about the league. Just recently, all of them were in France and in Spain, including the minister. Sure. Was it necessary for was, the minister was it, to go and be watching a friendly game? Let's sure. two, two, two friendly, friendly games. I will address that issue. Two friendly games. The minister, eh? Was it necessary? <laughs> was it necessary? Was it necessary? Was it necessary? Was it necessary? Friendly game Tax against players, man. You close no, your you, office. You relax. Stay, we'll stay, here. stay, we'll stay, stay we'll on the here. beat. No, oh, stay on the beat. Bumbunche, bumbunche. Ow! Chale, ow! Chale. Oh, how many? Bumbunche, 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 bumbunche. Chale. Oh, gaga. Stay on beat like a producer. No more. Oh my goodness. Look, damn man. Eh? It seems if you look at what Ashko themselves are looking to. Get from this matter. Nothing apart from they're trying to burn the house down, reinstate, put them back, back in the league. Yeah. In the league. <laughs> it's either you put us back or oh, we we'll oh, we'll burn down the know, house. Chris, Chris made a point, and I'm huh? happy he made the point about when you dissect the saga, there are several arms and legs. There's a bit that has to do with there's a criminality part of it. Ah, People who have been caught in a, yes. in, in a criminal web. So it's fraud. So we should have been dealing with that aspect. And then we deal with, okay, what happens to these players and things who get banned? And then the FA's laws and rules, I don't know, but maybe the football people need to start thinking about how we handle, why is it that somebody can get up and go and put an injunction on the league? Because I think the Ghana football rules should contain something that says, I think sometimes they, they discuss that this if you take, thing of if you take, not taking yep. football matters into a court into and a that court. kind of or thing. You get through, or you, you get through They themselves bent them. Yeah. The day they admitted Great Olympus yeah. and Kim Faisal ah. back, they bent it. And they even recently, was it Techiman City or something? They took the FA to court. Mm -hmm. Have they been expelled from football in this country? No. No. So I've got have every locus to do yeah. locus. But, but, but again, it, oh, it goes back to when this matter was being handled, we, look, we're all happy the fact that with the fact that the FA took action. Great, thumbs up. But and this wasn't new because we all knew that Ashgo would attempt this. We knew that exactly they were going to do. They were not going. To, they were not going no, to go down without no, a fight. No, they were going to push hard. So what did we do to think about? Okay, do we start the league or do we deal with this matter first? Because now all of a sudden, three weeks into a league, you are yet to pick up rhythm, and then boom. Your league goes away for what? Two weeks? How can you punish the institution and not punish the corporate? Me and Tibida. Why now? The entire league is being punished for the transgressions of us. So, so I, I thought, I'd, look, I don't know what the FA will do, but it is something they need to think about critically. How to keep the league away from some of these things. Because the other day, these when I heard things the story, that prevent you from getting a I headline tweeted, sponsor. I tweeted, Ghana Premier League and courtroom drama. Tell me the last time we actually had a league that didn't have courtroom issue inside. Almost every year. Every year there's, every, a tra there's a truncation of some... Somewhere we'll stop it. Meanwhile, either some the year, the 2022-2023 season, is a unique year for world football. Yes. At least up until December 2022. It's a very unique year. We are playing a World Cup in November and December. All leagues will be put on hold. Meaning that before anything, you, you don't have four weeks already. Now add another two. If you are not lucky, this case they could adjourn it. You know Ghana court, they can adjourn, mm -hmm. come back, come back. So when, minimum, minimum of two weeks we are off. Yeah, especially they've annoyed the court. Yep. Because in trying to get them to even save them, 
It was a long time. Ah, don't do freak anything. I had all kinds of funny stories. <laughs> but you know, you know the injunction stories. My favorite injunction story, I, mean, I won't mention the club official. But uh, this one was like a few years ago. So the person was met. So the people had been dodging the injunction. Uh, then they met. <laughs> they met this club official and say, hey, take the injunction. <laughs> so, <laughs> so as soon as he took the shit, he didn't know what it was actually. As soon as he took it and realized, hey, cut it, Jesse. Then he threw it on, <laughs> <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> I haven't touched it. <laughs> Look at this one too. I mean, I heard, I don't know how to, I heard that they were looking for the FU officials. And somebody said, oh, wait a minute. One of them has been hosting a TV show in the mornings. So let's go and hide out. Let's do a stakeout. I mean, I don't know how true. All I heard was that the person came out of the show. No, he said, hey, take it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how true. And when you do that, they've literally served <laughs> you because, you, because you work for the institution. Yes. So you've but been see, served. Why, why do we do this? We've oh. gone two years, no headline sponsor. The year a headline sponsor shows, shows up now, boom. After three weeks. Just, after after just three, three months, days. Another, oh. another one. Yeah. Ah. Pijichi, just quick thoughts on this <laughs> entire GFA injunction. And if really there's, there's light at the end of the tunnel for us because... <laughs> Well, I think we set a bad precedence in 2018, and we never recovered from that. I think that's Olympics issue. You know, when you, you make your own laws, and you're not able to implement your laws, then you're in a trouble. Big, big trouble. I think that at the moment that we allow that incident, everyone who witnesses it will be like, okay, if a club can be allowed to do this, then we are all going to go through that same process. Now, in 2019, we had a similar situation when the NC um, committee was there. It was a similar case where someone took the NC to court for certain a similar incident. They had to find their way out. Now here we are. Ashanti Goldfields are grieved. Yes, they have avenues to exhaust their yes. grievances. They could have gone. Now to I ask myself, why won't they exhaust all their grievances first? But they think there's a law court in Ghana. Let me try and do this. And unfortunately. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 they went to an appeal. It's right? clear, yeah, yeah, it's clear, yeah, man. Yeah, the appeal got yeah, thrown out. Yeah. Yeah. So they should go to CAS. There's a process, but they, they feel like, nah. Let's not try and do this. Let's let's make everybody the, the, suffer. Yep. And listening to them, even before the league started, from their head coach and everyone, they kept threatening that it's either your Bobby and us will be on Bobby. Mm -hmm. They kept saying this. <laughs> Are you kidding yes. me? And so your team. That's your team. That's your team. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. You see? Second, second, same one for me. Final for me. We could kill her. Anyhow, once we've done this. And we've not been able to recover from the, that 2018 incident. More will happen hmm. until we're able to expel a football the club. The door has we, we been need open. To, we need to expel a football club for doing this. Can you? The test case is that whoever we, goes to court is not expelled. Then, then, then we always go and argue this matter. Court, the there time. will always be in the situation. Game and on Someone must have that, that, that courage to expel a football club. The ball. The, yes. <laughs> <laughs> football <laughs> is about balls. balls. We all know you this. You don't have balls. You can't play football. And yeah. one thing that also makes this difficult is that sort of friends and cronies that we are using to run ah, the, the, the Ghana Football Association. Because we are all part of that friends and cronies, no one is able to punish anyone. And see, we'll keep going back and forth. We'll be here maybe next season. The same thing will oh, happen. Oh, yes. <laughs> see, even, even, even when you're about to start the, the three-way... Premier League player. Ah, the player. There was, there was a yeah, situation yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was four drops went to court. So it's like every time we're about to do something, to it's not like we'll always be here see, until like, someone like, has the boss to do Like something. when the ele election petition was held in, 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 in what, what was that? Tamale. Uh, uh, no, the one. Which that, one? No, I want. 2012. Uh, oh, petition. petition. You remember there was a time where uh, Justice Atukuba was telling Afarija. When somebody comes to instead of you to address it, go to court, go to court, go to court, go to court, go to court. You see what you are doing? Now, I'm like, no more honey, cottage, mafia. That's what it is. So, um, there's an injunction on our league. There will be no Ghana Premier League for you tomorrow because Ash Gold says that, uh uh, you cannot play any football. You haven't resolved our issues and we have been treated unfairly. And so, we'll prevent all of you from playing football. That's but where we know, are. At I now. go back to. The, the but, criminal aspect there. See, you see, oh, Chris, I'm more man. 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 I go back, I go back to something. Take thing to call? Yeah, I go back to something Honorable Godfrey Dami said. Oh. In, uh, this was when normalization was just about coming to an end. Yes. I every, remember. Every now and again, I listen to that clip. He says, one of the things that FIFA prescribed 
is that we set up a sports tribunal yeah. yes. so that when things happen, you can decouple the matter. So if there's a criminal case, you handle it in the court of yes. law or the police handles it. And then you handle the things that should be handled under breaches of sporting conduct. You get my point? So, yes. so a sports tribunal can handle, say, match fixing, that kind yes. of thing, betting, that, those offenses. Because I feel that the longer we don't break these things and handle them quickly as a footballing country, we'll suffer. Because like when people misbehave, mm -hmm. you can break and find elements. This element is criminal, so the police will handle it. This one is this. We'll handle it in a special way. Like in Italy, Caltropoli was handled by tribunal. Yes, After all the clear evidence of text mobile, messages, mobile money yeah. transactions that has brought an end to the league. <laughs> ah, man, eh? in which I don't get it. This is where we are. Let me see if I can read a few messages before we go on to the next item on our list. Chef Papo says, so GFA cry, why? Ben, honestly, what exactly is going on with our leaders that simple things get so complicated? I'm happy to hear Pichichi is in the studio. The name says they kill me. Pichichi. Oh, oh Charlie. Oh. Oh, oh Chichi. <laughs> oh, Chichi. Hey, behave yourself, my brother. Charlie. <laughs> Nana Kwesi says, Otoado is just an ordinary coach, guys. Nothing special. Same old display. Your kid... You kid yourself to think he has anything different to offer, Charlie. We don't even enter this safe. Lipu Mama. Lipu Mama. Great evening, my sports panorama crew. Oh, Charlie. Miss you all. Oh, Charlie. So Klopp is still at post. Charlie. He better he better score Brighton tomorrow. Charlie. Lipu Mama, on this agenda. There's heat everywhere. I am fully with you, Lipu Mama. I don't understand. So Klopp Why? is still at post. Why are Liverpool fans on Klopp's neck? Because Klopp is under achieving and is deceiving Liverpool fans that he's elite. He's underachieving. Say it again. One trophy in seven years. You say you are this you, let's move it on. One league trophy before the comments hmm. one league. Nijan league from Takrade says, good evening, Ben. The will... guy is sound. One league trophy. They do like him. Hmm. You see, you see, there will be a bald Manchester derby on Sunday for the first time. <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I saw what you did there. This one says, so Thomas Partey has started playing the same game SN used to play with Ghana when he was at Chelsea? Mm. Hmm. Interesting um. thoughts there. Nimli, this one's for? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Charlie, 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 Charlie. I like the name. I like the name. Charlie, but still, the name they ring for my head inside. Watch it, six CDs. Shit on point. Charlie, wherever you are, eh? Jiu 2. Hey! Watch it, six CDs. Shit on point. Charlie, I meet some two two good guys at DSTV today. Gabriel of the marketing department and Wisdom. Big shout outs to Gabriel and Wisdom. Charlie, oh. people from Cow Bank too go collect them as shout outs. I go come there. Shout. But big shout outs to Watch it, six CDs. Shit on point. See, you are, you are an MVP. That'd be Gabriel in Formula. I know him. Eh, yeah. that be Gabriel for DSD <laughs> Formula. Eh. Watch it, six CDs. Shit on point. Shit on point. Hmm. This one says it's from Nimli Pogba from oh, Abuso Kai. Oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. He says, I think Wakasu will, I think Wakasu will go to the World Cup. Yes. Man United are going to chop Ayeli this Sunday. No. Granting, I beg, behave yourself over there. No. <laughs> Don Nito at Spintex says, I thank coach for that powerful opening prayer. The weekend is going to set like Seto. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> 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 Charlie, I love you for Charlie, that. You see, Charlie, the that, weekend is going to set like that, set dude, that, that sounds like something a particular rapper in Ghana would say. <laughs> I'll not mention it. No, 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 I beg you, no, I'll not mention I'll mention it. No, I'll mention it. No, I'll mention it. Set You see, because the love of our lives returns this weekend. No, I'm also me. not happy about the sack of Bwedu, of Coach Bwedu. I believe our leaders could have done better. On that note, let me enter into the Heart of Folk realms. After what? 18 months or so in charge. What? Five trophies. Samuel Buedo parted ways with the crowd Heart of Folk after failing to win a single match this season. In fact, if you look at his record, it dates back to almost seven wins. Actually, seven or eight wins from last season without a win. So, eight coach, games. eight games, actually. Seven or eight games without a win. So, um, Heart of Folk have done away. <laughs> In some <laughs> Daniel, let me start off with you. Let me start off with you. Now, hearts have sacked Boedu. Um, oh, they... 
seen the messages fine. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, boys will behave. Charlie. Boys will behave. Okay, let's go on. Daniel, uh, hearts of folk have sacked Bodo. Uh, okay. First of all, is it justified? Secondly, can hearts find a coach who can replicate the success that he brought? How? How are they going to find a coach who can replicate the success that he brought? Have you seen anything like that? I'm sure before they brought him, they didn't think anybody was going to bring five trophies in 18 months. Who can do it? That's the question. Who? I don't... I, look, I, I, I don't get it. I don't get you it. don't get it. Because, look, we need to understand something. Before he came, Hearts had gone 11 seasons without silverware. Without major silverware. Because I know that there's a certain trophy very close to your heart. So, Hearts <laughs> had gone 11 seasons without major silverware. Oh, okay. Now, Hearts were literally walking into league seasons without even the thought of winning the title. The mm. team had become that bad. Mm. And you see, for a team, for a big team to go 11 years, in fact, when you pass 10 years without winning a major trophy, look, they hold body with Oba Hema Ejewa Cup. Oba Hema Ejewa Cup. That is a trophy that is close to your heart, my brother. Hey! Look! You, you start to lose your essence as a big team. And it is true. Because then the name Hearts of Folk, yes, it's, it's, a, it's a big You mean they, they had lost relevance until they, Buedu arrived? They had lost relevance. Look, when Buedu arrived, the task wasn't for him to win the league. Hearts were mid-table. The task wasn't for him to win the league. All of a sudden, mm -hmm. he just started racking up win after win after win after win after win. And then he entered the title conversation. And before we knew it, boom, he had won the first league title in 11 years. Then a couple of weeks later, he goes to win the FA Cup. So that's the double. Now, the guy who ended your 11-year trophy drought didn't just do it with winning one trophy. He did two out of two. A couple of months later, three out of three. Then he does what? Four out of four by winning the President's Cup. Last season's league season didn't go as planned. Yeah. It didn't go too well for Hearts of Folk, granted. But even in a league season, in a football season where Hearts of Folk were deemed to have failed on the league front, they still won the FA Cup mm -hmm. and the President's Cup in that season. Five trophies out of a possible six. And then you enter a league season, three matches into the season, where you, feel you faced three of your biggest rivals in the Diana Kotoko. And Olympics, you fail to win. Fine. And then you sack him. Two away games. Two away games. Ooh. And then you sack him. I, look, I, I, I can't begin to make sense of it. Because for me, it, 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 really, it doesn't sit well with me. It doesn't make sense to me. My point is, pedigree buys you time. Ooh. When you say give a manager time, and I've said it countless times here. When a manager says, give, give me time, or people are advocating for a manager to be given time, they are saying it based on what he's done before. Yeah. So if I come in and I've won you five trophies in 18 months, and in my third season, or at the tail end of my second season and my third season, things are not going according to plan on the league front, and I'm saying, give me time. I have shown you evidence that I can succeed, and I will succeed if given time. So just give me that time again, and I'll turn things around. But this time, they said, no, they are sacking him. Me, I don't talk plenty. They've set the precedence. So, what they are telling us is that the FA Cup does not matter. It is the league that matters. And Hearts of Folk wants to be in the title conversation. Yep. That is why they hire head coaches. Okay, fine. That is granted. That is how a big team should be thinking. So, whoever you hire, by the halfway point of the league, if the person is not first or second, sack him. It's true. Sack him. Because if Samuel Bode is not good enough, after five trophies in 18 months, so it's not two seasons, 18 months. If you do the math, that is what? Two point something trophies every three months. Ah, ah, the guy has sports has fans. So. He's made them very greedy. Very greedy. With you eating. couldn't bite. Ah. In Ghana, we say, 
No me nye da feki. Feki. Nye da feki. Nye nye nyon fe mfamo ye nye da. Samo bwe du ba hawa nye nyon. Ne kon. Kon on nibi. Look at this. Now hearts of folk fans are greedy. And you see, that's that's how big teams, the fans of big teams should be spoiled. So he's done that for us. And he says, give me time. You suck him. Fine. I'm saying that a precedence has been set. Just like, you see, that's why I like Chelsea. When you go back and you look at Chelsea's history, one manager cannot say I was treated unfairly. No. Because, because everybody gets the same treatment. It's a, it is a lay down procedure. It is a lay down procedure. It's there. Yeah. If you come and you don't perform, you, you, don't know, perform, you, you know, know you, you get, get the boots. Sack. So how to folk, just follow through like that. We don't care who is coming in. Whoever comes in by midway point in the season, if they pe- because if three games is enough for you to project and see that in Kuyi, then from match week, whenever match week four will start, and whoever is in charge, yeah. until match week 15, 16, whoever is in charge, if the person is not first or second, even if the person is second and is like nine points away from the top, That's suck quick, him. Quick. Because you are nine points away from the top. That is not in the title conversation. If the person is within the title conversation, fine, let him continue. But the moment he drops out, suck him. And keep sucking and sucking and sucking until we can get somebody who can do the job of Sam Obudu. We talk about uh, uh, what sustainability. Mm-hmm. Even his squad over the past three seasons, Changing, chopping, changing, chopping, changing. And you don't just look, they change the core of the team. Yeah. It's not like the arms and the legs, though. the spine. The most fruitful part of the team, the place, the, 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 the portion of the team, the core of the team where he built from, that's where they keep selling, selling, selling. And we understand that that is the state of our league, that is the state of our clubs. But the point is, when you are a selling club or you are in a selling league, your recruitment, mm. Your, in fact, the system should be structured in a way that you are constantly generating top talent mm. so that once you sell, there's somebody who is coming who is equally as good mm. as the person who has left. You understand what I'm saying? But we have to focus. It's not like that. It is not like that. Look at the sort of recruitment Kotoko is doing. And I spoke about it at the end of last season. Mm. Look at the caliber of players Kotoko won and look at how instrumental they were in their title winning campaign. And then look at the people that has bots, the players that has bots, mm-hmm. as compared to the ones who left the team. And then you tell him and you expect him to compete with Kotoko. You know, you can't do that. And when he's saying, give me time, let him say, ah. you, you bought him a star player. The star player told you that he had a running stomach for three months. Hey, that's where you want to go. Running stomach for three months. Hmm. You didn't do anything about it. Yeah. Ah. <coughs> See, let me ask a question. Samens, if I come to your office and I tell you that I want sick leave, eh? mm-hmm. I have ransto. <laughs> it's not diarrhea. It's not typhoid. It's ransto for three months. Hey. Ah, would you sign that letter? Running to my three months. Papa Bay. Die. Oh, ah. three months. Ransto three months. You go come, then you finish. Ransto three months. There will be nothing left of you by the time it's done. Oh, you don't understand me. <laughs> You see, the Ransto, it comes from different places. There's Ransto that is uh, typhoid Ransto. There's diarrhea Ransto. There's food poisoning Ransto. There's alcohol-induced Ransto. I'm saying raw Ransto. From nothing. From nothing. Raw Ransto. It's not a Ransto you can say, oh, I had typhoid for... Now you understand that typhoid you can chase more. Oh, wait, Nobody will sign that thing. And they let the season go. Your marquee signing, the biggest signing... And the excuse was, oh, he'll come back, he'll come. The person should come and come and explain. He said he had ran store, ran store for three months. And you didn't do anything about it, too. That is a recruitment team. There's a management in place. There's a board in place. You have a player who is behaving like this. Mm. See, why is it that we don't have technical people who make some of these technical decisions at the clubs? Maka. Why is it board members? And you see, Maka. the reason why this thing hurts me is because we've had board members of our crowds of folk go on media tours talking about the manager. You can, you see, even even, even when sacked. he was doing well. Even when he was doing well. Yep. Should you have can been tell that these things come with, they come with emotion. Ah. And you can tell that the person on, on okay, Pena SMT who sack him. Charlie, you need to be serious. Man. Let me let Coach have just a minute or two on this and we can move it on. By this analysis, it took Odote, Honorable, Akambi, Alaji, 
Dr. Nyao Nyao Tamaklo and Co. It took them 10 years, 11 years to see proper trophy. They should have been long gone. You mean they were happy collecting Obahima a J They were cup. happy <laughs> pleading for time. For how long? A decade. A whole decade. A whole decade plus one. Mm -hmm. They were happy oh, pleading for time. They saw the need to be given time. Now you, you, you brought in this coach at a time where nobody thought has a folk stood the chance of winning the league. Mm -hmm. He won the league, won the FA Cup, and you guys now saw the beauty in taking pictures. We saw the pictures that all the board members were taking with the league. But until Boadu came, it was Oba. Even that one, you did not have the courage to take a picture with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean the famous Obahima ah, AJ World Cup? They, they never should show me. In fact, you are, you are right. I've look, never seen the trophy before. Oh, I know it's, look, it's a look. trophy that's on my heart. I know where the body But I've look. never seen it before. Uh, where, where did they buy it? Oh, Palace Mall. Oh, oh, don't do this. <laughs> oh, it's Ghana. Then you buy the ribbons, 20 CDs. Oh, it's Ali. Oh, you get a decorator. So put the thing on Elijah the side. Elijah Kambi. Oh. The board members, they should show me a picture of themselves holding the Obahima Cup. Just one picture holding that cup. But me, I have seen pictures of them all as board, holding, the, holding Premier the Premier League and the FA Cup. You know, enjoying themselves Today with it. You say you have sacked Samuel Buedu. Ah, no, we'll come back on the same platform. See, because they are not serious. That is why. Ah, but how do you sack Samuel Buedu and not have his replacement now? A shock. Ah, meaning your view, football your view. <clears throat> If you decide to sack such a manager, then you should know who is coming to you. By now, master go, master come. Simple. Uh, do you know, they are now searching for who the next coach will be. Now in talks. They are now in talks. Who does that? Which serious football team will do that? Hmm. Who told you, look, Chelsea sacked Toto Alote. In two hours, we heard that. Eh, 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 eh. The next manager is most likely Potter is coming Potter through. Is coming through. <clears throat> Hindu I can feel team. Eh. Hindu I can feel team. I swear. Some some bit of flash. Yeah, pilolo ya fobe me. Pilolo ya fobe. I talk any bit. Me not show my jaw. Me not show my jaw. Me not show my jaw. Basa basa ne. show na kai. Half. Basa ke show na kai. Club. Our oldest club. You see, when we were kids, eh, they would go, Pilolo, you have a baby, they are going high, then you come, Pilolo, they are looking for me. Me not feel what's up, son. Oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Me not feel what's up, son. Ah, did they realize that in about a week's time, this team is going to be playing in Africa? Do they even care? Number one, man. I may feel sure I Has to qualify to the next round. And, and enter the, the group stage. Kajen Nakain. Odote, I can be the board. Everybody. Like one of them said, House of Oak is bigger. Not even the board chairman comes closer to the stature of that club. Not even. I'm quoting, maybe I'm paraphrasing, Dr. Dr. Nyao Tamago. He said that. Not even the board chairman is bigger, bigger than, than the club. Yeah. I'm a fan. I'm a Yakweje. I'm a shitty man. Ni meni ba nye feti me ni ni wa fani wa yo ai ame feti me ni wa ya hie. Big shouts, big shouts to Daniel Owusu Apia. Daniel Owusu Apia, aka Nana Hilkson, group head of all Panoramians. He said he be group head who he has he has given himself the title. Charlie, yeah. Guy, now why is he going to be somebody? I Pano know him. I know him. Daniel Owusu Apia, mm -hmm. group head. Of all Panoramians at Cow Bank head office, ah, he say he say it be it be the group head. Panorama for no mupo mupo me na me ya mupe ni. Ya fani pe ni. Daniel, we oh, yeah, big man do too, baby. Ah, uh. let's get into the camp of the black stars, boy oh boy. First game was against Brazil. Second game was against Nicaragua. Let me start off with you, Pichichi, on this one. So Ghana has played two games. What I'm gauging from Ghanaians is that confidence is low on the team heading to Qatar based on yeah. what we've seen in the last two games. 
where do you stand and why? Well, I think every Ghanaian should be worried about the Black Stars. But Wado says the team is ready. Oh. His own words. Oh, yes, no more. Okay, the team is ready. <laughs> Oh, they're too friendly. She said, no, no, no. Mm. says the team is ready. Mm. <laughs> hey. <laughs> now, look at our games against Brazil and also Nicaragua. Yeah. And I think one key thing is missing here. A team that lacks coordination. Players that know what they, what they have to do on the pitch. A system that works for the players. These are all missing from the team. Now, in our first game, I think the first half, we all know what happened to us. The Brazilians were done with us by the first 45 minutes. Second half, they just had to play around, kill the time, man manage the game, and then we were over. Against Nicaragua, I thought this was a big chance for us to implement the three-back system, that 3-5-2, create more chances, finish the chances, and then impress us. But once again, we couldn't do that. And so every Ghanaian who is worried about the Black Stars has a huge case to be worried because this is not what we expected. Look at the fact that we are going to face the likes of Portugal, Uruguay, South Korea. Now, for Otoado, I know people are saying he's, uh, he's a scout now. He's, he's a part-time... A part-time coach. A part-time... Not, not you, coach. Not you more. <laughs> <laughs> a part-time coach shouldn't be in charge of the Black Stars and all. I think that one thing that Otoado has done at this, at this crucial moment is to kill the sort of vim and uh, hope that many had in him. It, it, it's so sad. Especially after the Nigeria double yes, header. A lot of people crucial said, moment. once you saw us do that difficult spell, you are our man. You see, and it's it's so hurting that just with two months to go, this is the moment he chooses to do this. Because now we're going to a World Cup where many Ghanaians are, are going to turn their back on the team. In our first game, there'll be so much pressure on us because you're not going to get Ghanaians back in the team. I'm sure before the game, people will be like, oh, we are going to lose, we are going to draw. No one will really tip us to win that game. And it's quite a huge worry. Anytime the Black Stars are playing and you have Ghanaians not really backing them, it's a huge worry. Mm -hmm. Yes, you see some fans at the stadium trying to cheer the team up. That's their own personal agenda and all that. But You mean the spirit of the nation it's not there. must be behind the team? Yes. And I think that at least he has one more chance against Switzerland to make amends. That game against the Swiss should be important for him. Mm -hmm. If he has any confidence in his three-back system that he wants to play at the World Cup, he needs to do that in the Swiss game. He needs to fill his best players. He needs to make us have that vim again, bring back that love before the World Cup. And if he fails to do that, then I think it's game over before the World Cup even starts for us. Mm. Yes. I, I spoke to Asamwajan today and I asked him <laughs> one question. If you had advice for the Black Stars team after the friendlies that you've watched, what will it be? He says, this team must perfect one system. Simple. Yeah. And he said emphatically, he said, in fact, in fact, he spoke for like two minutes, but he kept on repeating it. He says that there is no essence in having two systems that you are not perfect at. You, know, I told you, you are better off foundation. having one system that you can fall back on. That is your foundation. Regardless of how it works. Yeah, yeah, and Baby now, Jet says we yeah. should have one system. The 3 5 2 looks to be the best system. Mm. The three back system looks to be the best for this place. Once you have Jiku, Amate, Salisu. Solid defenders for the three back system. Tariq Lamte, Gideon Mensa slash Babara Man for mm -hmm. the Kum. Okay. Gideon Mensa Kum. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> this matter. You go ahead. <laughs> so I got fourth Kum Ted. What problem? What problem? Go ahead. Go ahead. Gideon Mensa Kum, Babara Man for the wing back position. Now, in central midfield, I think that it's high time we make Daniel Kofichre a starter. Mm -hmm. I think he's paid his dues and he has convinced everyone that he's supposed to be a regular in this Black Stars team. Mm -hmm. Now, for the defensive midfield role, that's where our major headache is. I think Thomas Tepacha showed us that his fitness will always be a problem. Baba Idrisu, uh, not really the best. Do we have to call Mubarak Wakaso? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> so, so look at the, the, the defensive midfield position. That's where my, my biggest headache is at the moment. Wakaso is coming to the World Cup. Whenever, whenever I hear Wakaso's name, because of coaches' teams, now whenever China. I hear Wakaso's name, so that one is, it's a fact. He brought the injury from China to the African Cup. No, we no, saw it. No, no relax for me. <laughs> Could you wrap up for me? Yeah, so, 
I think the system is good for us. The three five two looks to be the best. As to which person we get to fit in the system, that's also key for the coach. Now for Andre Ayu, I think that is key. We need to decide where we want to play Andre Ayu. Midfield is not working. On the wings, probably might not work. Mm. So Otto needs to decide where to fit Andre Ayu and his brother Jordan Ayu. And until he's decisive and has the balls to make some key decisions, <laughs> balls. we will be where we are. Mm. And I think that if Otto doesn't do these things, we might end the World Cup with no point. <laughs> very, very, very true. Most. With no yeah. point. Hmm. Because we are going into a World Cup where confidence is low. The players are now adapting to a system. And even with a system, you are still not sure of your system because you are playing four back, three back, Five sometimes you don't know what you really want to do from the, with the players, and I think with the Swiss game, Otto must be decisive. As simple as that, mm. he must be. If anyone is whispering into his ears, he must block that ears, and then think clearer, decide <laughs> clearer what mm. he wants to do. This is the only way out for us. It's now or never. <laughs> you see, you see. <laughs> like, <laughs> if and, and, I, and I'll just jump off what you know what Pichi she said. Look, I think Otoado needs to. Be very definite. Imagine, By this time, oh, you, can't, you can't you can't him like a gem at the this time. time. Yeah, the time is. Abana chaki. Mini you to feel a gem. You wait a minute to draw. Let your money buy your tuna tomorrow. I chaki like a gem. But but you and I know that chemistry issues will not help us to do this. Chemistry. But many chemistry now. No, no. Have you seen any chemistry? No, go listen, listen to me. Which 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 reaction? Let me let me let me explain what I'm saying. You know that Otoado is the is the lead brain now, according to the the hierarchy we have. Do you know what will happen if you decide that you don't think Otto is good enough to be coach and you want to replace him with Hilton? You, 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 see, you are talking about chemistry. I don't know whether it is an exothermic reaction or endothermic oh, reaction. No oh, no more. No more. Oh, no more. Oh, no more. There has to be a clear reaction. Clear. What now? Are we behaving exothermically or endothermically? You should tell us. What's that? <laughs> and, 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 the chemistry teacher in him has come out. The chemistry teacher in him. Charlie, look, 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 the last thing you want on your hands as you are learning about each other is to go and play a World Cup. They've already qualified, so they will go. But I'm sure in their heart of hearts, they would have wanted this to be later down the line when you've experienced one tournament, two tournaments, three, and then you get there. Hmm. It has happened. Whatever it is, the biggest stage. Go and enjoy it. Yeah. Give your best. But I get disappointed in Otuado because by this time, you should have made certain decisions and made them very clearly. This is what I want to do. This is the shape that was. Of course, I believe in trying different things, having a fallback. But you start with, you look at the strengths of your players and mm -hmm. marry it to a style. Practical example, Mr. Ten Hag in Manchester. He's come in. He says he wants to play nice. Pass, 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 pass. He's looked down. He realized after the first Charlie, game or two Charlie, that... These boys, if I play pass, pass with them, it won't help. We'll you know what? Relegation. Okay, we'll defend deeper. The hair, don't pass the ball from the back again. Hit it long. We we'll utilize the pace. We we'll utilize the pace of Rashford, whoever, whoever, over time. And when you watch United, once in a while, they play a little Ten Hag ball. They go back to the new thing. Over time, you get them to understand. And once they understand it, you can bring in players who can further take this plan forward. So I expect Otuado to look at this team and say, I have these players. Mm -hmm. I want to go in a certain direction. Can we go together? No. So something has to give. It's either my way or their way. And you find something that complements their strengths, mm -hmm. takes away their weaknesses to a large extent, and you build from there. Because it beats my imagination that we are heading... So what? So is the game against Switzerland the day when he unveils or outdoors the plan for the World Cup? Then what, what did we use these two friendlies to do? <laughs> of course, you've brought in 26 players. You have to give them all an opportunity. I agree. But I thought that those two games would have given us a further idea as to what the plan would be. After these two games, I don't think we are closer to a definite idea. And it worries me that now we'll start to see the definite idea one game to a World Cup. And I don't think it's so ideal. Hmm. 
for that competition. I hear they may play a fourth, another game. I we we need that fourth game. Somebody should tell whoever is in charge of organizing these games that what Ghana, say Ghana is, desperately needs that fourth game. What I will say is this. One, the way things are going, the World Cup should be an opportunity where you test this young team in a high competition environment. I don't think this technical team, and I don't think the team should be slapped with a lot of expectation. Because one, it will weigh them down. You see, and the weight of the expectation is what will lead to all kinds of funny decisions. But, but Nathan, their target is the semi-final. It has been set for them before. Well, which which, sem- which, 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 which semi-final? Which semi-final? for the team long ago. Oh, relax. They gave them semi-final. Semi-final is the target. Unless maybe they can't. Oh, 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 let me finish. Semi-final is the target. Let me finish. When it starts, you are going let to win finish. the trophy. Unless they can't. Let me finish. 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 Unless that dream they have is maybe when they play it on PS5, on FIFA 23. <laughs> now I'm crying, you don't go in. <laughs> because when I look at now them, crying, you it's not in. because they are a bad team. But clearly you can tell that the difference between our team and the level needed to get to a World Cup semi-final, that difference is huge. And the first 45 minutes against Brazil told us all we wanted to know. So this team should not be burdened with any expectation. Let them go. Playing at the highest level is needed for them. They have qualified and they must go. Yeah. Now, when they go to Qatar and come back, then they will see truly where they are when measured against teams like Portugal, yeah. like Korea, and like Uruguay. Then maybe, just maybe, we'll all admit that, you know what, this team, look, they need a bit more time or this is where we are. If we want to go to another World Cup or win another AFCON, we need to improve. But clearly, when I look at what happened on Friday and I listen to Coach Otoado and I look at all the things around the team, I don't know if they still... I don't know why they still feel that, oh, we are still in a... We are no, we are no more in a honeymoon phase. This is a proper rebuild. And we yeah. need to get down to some serious work. Define what you want. Yeah. And let's go with it. And defining what you want means taking hard decisions. What are those hard decisions? One, how, how are we going to mix our midfield? What midfield mix do we want? Mix, mix. Because right now it, it is, is very mix, clear mix. that the player we thought would be there all the time in the person of Mr. Thomas Party, you put, you have to put an asterisk by his name and say that this guy, we are not saying he's not patriotic. He's missed the last six he's Black Stars the last games. Six Black Stars games through injury, we, meaning that there is a problem somewhere. Yep. The injury may be minor or heavy, but the point is there is a challenge. So start to think critically about who I put there because he has a certain skill range. He has a certain talent type. Yep. Do we have somebody who can replicate or we change the plan to highlight somebody's strengths and we move on from there? The final thing I'll say, can we please make a decision on Andre Ayu? <laughs> we all love Andre Ayu. He works hard. He gives everything. But let us stop playing him in midfield. Because when we do that, it hurts him, it hurts us, and we all lose. He doesn't come out looking any good. The team doesn't look any better. And we all get stressed. Why do we want to do this to ourselves? We know what Andrea Yu has become. Play him where he can score the goals. And Andrea Yu can score. On top of everything, the man is Mr. Clutch. The man likes the big platforms. So put him there and just give him the ball. He will score. But this business of Thomas Bart is not there. So play Andrea Yu next to Baba Idrisu, next to Kudus. And we don't go anywhere. Otoado must start to take the... You see, when you, are nas- when you are a coach, and I'm sure he knows this, mm-hmm. that the principle of leadership comes with taking hard decisions. Hard decisions that you believe in. Hard decisions that you have thought through. But when I look at how he's handling the team and I look at some of the calls he's making, I'm not feeling that vibe that he's either... I don't know whether he's afraid or not ready or he's waiting to make the hard decision. I don't know. But two months to a World Cup, we need to know how this team will look like. How it will play. They may not win any game there. But when we show up and we stick to a certain style or we show different sides and we show that we are disciplined, we are solid, you can't break us down, you only win one nil. At at least give us a sense of what we are doing. Because I don't seem to understand what it is we want to do with this national team. And I get really worried. Mix, mix. The whole whole squad is confused. (laughs) What's the meaning of part-time? Not full. Not, full, not full time. Head coach part time. 
Assistant one, Patai. Assistant two, Patai. No, no, assistant, assistant one resigned from his yeah. job at Aston Villa job to become to become a full time assistant. No, he he can become a full time assistant. Yeah, but the head coach can be Patai. Hmm. We're best serious. Come on, we have never been serious with these black stars. I'm telling you honestly today. We have never been serious from day one. Hmm. Look, Otuado as a coach, do you know his identity? We only plan. 352. Ah, how? How is that his identity? Oh, but German 352 counter attack. Ah, so where is he now? What is he thinking about? He's going to think about Dortmund. Look, I know. But, but, but he has three assistants. Oh, no more. <laughs> No, you are not. We are not mentioning George Boateng as a did the drama in his name. Oh. We have not. We are not mentioning their names. No, my boy at all. Otuado is his name. We are mentioning. Where is he now? Back with his club side. Where is Southgate? With England. He's thinking about England. Tite. Thinking Brazil. about Brazil. All other coaches. All the other coaches. All of them. Mm -hmm. Of the 31 teams, 31 countries, they are all thinking about the national team. As we speak, the head coach of the Black Stars has gone back to think about Borussia Dortmund. Are we serious? Look, I now understand why he said he will only accept the job as a part-time. Because they didn't like a bomb a lack of a bomb oh. so that when we fire him, he will get a job to go and coach at Dortmund, scout for Dortmund. And our big men, the decision makers in our team, allowed this to happen. They allowed this to happen. You remember, I sat here the day the, the general secretary seek to question my coaching profession. In Kelake, no more bashing. Bashing or the ban of bashing came in jail. In both, she was bashing. He's seen a crack you are crack at the bend you crack at the way I go. She no committed. You are wrong in giving the job to a part. The blasters is not a part-time job. I said it here. That we'll be making the biggest mistakes of our life if we were to if we cannot get Otuado to resign his position as the scout at Dortmund and come and take up this job on a full-time basis. We'll be making the biggest mistake of our life. Nobody seems to agree with me. Especially when you have one of the key decision makers of the FA sat with me here and said, no, what I'm saying, it can work. What I'm saying, what? 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 As we go with it to the tournament, we go with into that tournament as the lowest ranked team. Instead of, and we are taking a very inexperienced team to the tournament. And we've decided to go with an inexperienced coach to, to the tournament. What do we think we're doing to ourselves when we're making... We say we have a double header to play against Nigeria. Milo had just been sacked. We needed somebody to come and hold the chip. And then Papa, God being so good. He did a wonderful job. Ah, just after that, no more. we just went just like dead. We couldn't think right. We couldn't think right <clears throat> to sit down as a country and take the best. Day. So after the World Cup, Otuado, he will still continue as part time. Well, we'll have to wait and, and see. About, me not feel. We'll have to wait and see. You know, see, the black stars will not come to an end to the uh, to an end after Qatar. Football will not end after the World Cup in Qatar. Yeah. So we should take a decision that will guarantee a better future for our team. We decided not to. As we speak, we don't know his identity. That is why today it is a back three. Today it's a back five. Tomorrow it's a back four. Tomorrow everybody busy back on the midfield, on the on the left, on the on the right. Jordan, go to the right. This man, go here. We are doing try and error. By now, by now, we should have a clear picture of our team. Who is starting games? Who is coming off the exactly, bench? Exactly, exactly, no more. And there should be a proper chemistry. The entropy of the Black Stars mm. is gangantuan. The what? The degree mm. of disorderliness in our team is gangantuan. That's the meaning of entropy. Entropy. Is gangantuan. We are too disorder. 
disord- come on, no more. We are mm. too disorganized, and mm. the degree of disorderliness, uh, I cannot imagine why we put ourselves in this situation. I have to sky a word cap. I have to change. And we, and look, the parliamentarians will go, will come back. Was it necessary to go there? We'll come and do it here. <laughs> I'm a chairman, Was it necessary to be there? Like the minister have started going for the friendly matches. Is it necessary? No, minister, you know, tuni no, but tuni no, tuni no. Friendly match, close the office. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Close the office. <laughs> <laughs> he will just go and take the key and lock the door. Bleh, bleh. Personal sister, I'm, I'm going to France. The blaster is paid from there. We'll go to Spain. What is that? Black, 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 black. Uh, how can we be living like that? I suck. <laughs> so he, he took per diem and, and where he went there? Of course. In a few basa basa name. Friendly match. Friendly match. You are vacating your post. What role, what sort of motivation are you going to tell the boss in a friendly game? That the coaches cannot do. So the minister should go there and be part of it. So the blasters indeed is an opportunity for people to. What is that? <clears throat> Look, media, Maka, Mesanka. Oto Ado himself knows. George Bwati, they know that at least Chris Hutin is the most experienced among all of them. What if indeed they are working as a team? It is never too late to do it. Switch over. If indeed they are working as a team. You mean egos should be put Achille on the back burner. No more. You know, you know it's not that easy. <laughs> you know it's, it's not that easy. Achille Kaba Twemi, no more. Benini Biale, one hack and Uchumi Dafibo. On our Nete, Chris Hutin, J, Le Cocha, or Coach EP, EP, can be experienced. Ebanya Dmohi, get Dmohi, Onake, Ebanya, Bain, the new boys, and they come in Papa. Banaba support, Abahambo, Row, no two. Akele, Akashele B. He's doing the job as if he's doing us a favor. Part time. Part time. He's, how much is he being paid? I don't have any idea. We about should that. know because we knew that of Milo. We knew that of Akwesi Apia. How much are they being paid for that part-time job that they are doing, that he's doing? We should know. These are things we should know. We've all just gone quiet on the matter. So, Nketa, please, um, you are one of we'll, the we'll, top we'll, sports we'll, we'll journalists. Kanti here out. can go every corner in Ghana to bring that information. <laughs> so, Daniel Kanti, I'm telling you today, by next week, Friday, that information should come up. Dana Kanti, Pichichi and Co. They should just go and go and maneuver. Go. How much is we need to know? How much are they being paid for that part time job? We need to know. Oh, no, when you come, oh, Charlie. Let me read a few messages coming through. You don't know what you are. No, it's a serious matter. How much is it being for? No, I can't go to Ado tuning part time. No, 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 no. No, 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 I make Bama Kanichum. I pay le. So that we'll pay him full time and let go. After all, the coaching is hired and firing. Yeah. If you don't do well, we'll fire you, we'll bring the next person. Yeah. If I'm the one there, I'm not doing it. They should fire me. She don't know what I Andre midfield. Me no Andre midfield. Why is Andre playing? Are you, are you playing midfield? Stop that. You are playing. They should stop it immediately. They should stop it. Stop that. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read a few messages coming through. Um, this one here, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> the Black Stars need to wake up and start doing some serious training. Just see the football we played in the first half. Totally symbolic. I wonder what Coach Chris is going to say about this. This is your boy, Ashiki Shapiuto. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Make a chaki again, mini. I like it. This is your boy. Ashikin Shapio to Oh Charlie. <laughs> hey, you know it is some hot akuliji. Hey, buddy. Ne. With, With some chilled brukutu. Charging my system hey, hey. for a minimum. Oh Charlie. 60. You know what? 56 strokes. Okay, it's up to you. <laughs> There's no difference between Yantichi GFA and Okreku's GFA. If you doubt, they should let Anas get at work again. A B inside Malajo. Um 
bedroom nose mask from Ayukuma. <laughs> this guy is back again, Charlie. He said, guys, um, hearing you loud from Ayukuma with my Lille, Manchester City go chop goals like meat pie. Interesting. And Wanku from Kumasi says, GFA only have the balls to punish referees, but do not have the courage to make sure clubs respect laws governing the game. Um, this one says, evening to you guys. So who was going to be on the bench for House of Folk tomorrow if the league had gone on? Because I heard Ninoy has a certificate from some course Uncle Ben Kofi did years back, but not um, licensed. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this one says, yes, club must win. If not, we go throw him like Tuko. Okay. Uh, this one is from Nanaya from New Botiano. He says, I think Lampard should have been a sporting director instead of a coach. He has an eye for talent. Um, Zalik Duane in London says, apart from party, our midfielders are very light for the World Cup. It's not too late to convince Duncan Schlopp, etc. This is w this is World Cup, not Sunday stars, okay? Um, this one here says, um, Ghana's game against Nicaragua was purely political tactics from those player politicians, though they were not on the pitch, but their policy worked for them uh, all against Inaki through Ali Dusei, Dubaba Idrisu. Okay, they were all selfish to Williams. No wonder. It's a haku from <coughs> Haruna Idrisu and... Okay, oh, interesting stuff they're coming through. I don't know what's going on. Um, Paoli from Boche says, Wow, Pichichi, Charlie City Sports transfer game is crazy, man. You are in the leagues of the Barcelonas and Man Cities when it comes to transfers. Pichichi is a top, top guy. Welcome home, bro. Been a huge fan of him for some time. Charlie, you get fans, pal. Oh, oh Chichi! Chichi. <laughs> oh, Chichi! Charlie, me, Charlie, this is another name I like. Pichichi. Pichichi. It's from Okoti, the boat driver, who has stopped chilling riders AC. <laughs> Charlie, he used to be... Charlie, go he used to be Okoti, the boat driver, who chills riders AC. Right now, he says, he has stopped chilling riders AC. Nice. He says, you want to get and the crew. DF and Casa, they are just not proactive. So their corporate affairs department could not project this mishap. The mismanagement aspect of running a football, the management aspect of running a football league isn't part of their vision and mission. There's always a problem with the league every year. Anyway, three years, uh, anyway, three Yes, for United. I don't know what you mean by that. But let's get into the derby weekend. Daniel, let me start off with you. Ako Nana is up against Antonio Conte. By Ako Nana, I mean Mikel Arteta. Oh, for those of you who... No, no, just... No, know just, know no, just, just, call him just, just for the uninitiated. Ah. For those who, who are tuning into is Panorama that, no, no. for ah, the first time. Okay. North London derby. The Brazilians were left out of the, the Brazilian squad for Arsenal. So they are fresh. Mm. Harry Kane was with England. It was a miserable time. Son was doing well for Korea. It was mixed feelings. Which way is this one going? Who is your money on? Another big test for Arsenal. Um, the big one came against, first big one came against Manchester United. And um, before the game, the preview, I said I didn't think Arteta would be naive mm. as he had been in some of the big games previously. Um, coach was so confident Man United would win. Um, he he literally predicted how the game was going to go, and that's exactly how the game was uh, how the game went. Um, that's what I thought would happen, but I was hoping and praying that Arteta would not be naive. And I'm hoping again that tomorrow against Tottenham Hotspur, he's not naive. By naive, I mean in, I mean not going out, possessing the ball. In fact, mm -hmm. let me let me see, over possessing the ball. When I say over possessing the ball, I mean having the the ball at dangerous in dangerous situations and still deciding to pass it around and score the perfect goal. I think Arsenal need to be ruthless. Against Manchester United, honestly speaking, if they were ruthless, they could easily have won that game. Mm. They had glorious opportunities, half chances where you think they would take a shot, then they take the extra pass and the extra pass before eventually the, the space is closed down. But look, I'm, I'm hoping and praying that it goes this way because I want a very tough encounter. At the tail end of last season, yeah. it was a similar story. Yes, Thomas Partey didn't play that game. But Arsenal looked good in terms of... They had spells where they kept the ball nicely. But it looked like any time Tottenham Hotspur picked up the ball and there was a counter-attack, it was a dangerous opportunity and they could score. And that game ended 3-0. If Arsenal don't take care, it could go again like that. The good thing is that uh, for them, for Arsenal, 
that Partey is in the team. And once he's in the team, we know he'll play. He's going to play means you give them a certain level of control. Um, and um, look, they, they need that. They need that control. We've seen the partnership between himself and, and, and Shaka this season. He's given Arsenal that control of the midfield. I think this game will be won and lost in the midfield. Whoever can contain the midfield and control it will win. Um, because we've also seen how important Ben Tanko and Hoybier are for, for Tottenham Hotspur. They are, they are dangerous. For Arsenal, again, that defensive partnership, the, the back four needs to be 100% concentrated because the scary thing about playing teams that hit you on a counter-attack is that one moment you think you are in control, the next moment the ball is in the back of the net. And that is Tottenham Hotspur. They can sit back and defend and defend and defend. And the thing about Conte's three-back system is that you can have the ball, but the difficulty is finding spaces and breaking them down. So as you are trying and you think you are going to play this pass to break them down, they pick up the ball and they are gone. And the ball is in the back of your net and you don't know. Paris it. One long 40-yard cross. That's it. <laughs> and they've got you. Yeah. So the concentration levels needs to be needs to be at the top. And the good thing for Arsenal is that their key players didn't play in the international break. Thomas Partey didn't play for Ghana. Yeah. Um, Gabriel Jesus, Gabriel Jesus didn't Martinelli, play for, all of them um, were absent. Odegaard stayed behind. It looks like he's fit. And yes, the manager said he's fit. Zinchenko, he says they are all in the team. So they have a fresh group of players coming into this game. And I feel their key players are much fresher than the Tottenham Hotspur team who have their entire front three were involved in both um, international. Son Kane and Richarlison played in both. I don't think Kulusevski will start tomorrow. Um, I think he picked up a bit of one. Yeah, he's also injured. So um, look, I think this is it's, it's advantage Arsenal. If they can get the, the ship mm -hmm. and, the, and the system right tomorrow, I feel especially to contain Tottenham Hotspur's counter-attack and their defensive ship that is Arsenal, mm -hmm. I think they should win, especially because it's also... Let me just stay on the beat to you. Just, quick thought. Just, just, I, just mm -hmm. a quick note on, mm -hmm. on that. I'm happy Daniel mentioned them yeah. by AVTB because Ateta really shocked me. At 1-1 one, one at Old Trafford, mm -hmm. when the game could have gone either way, he opens his entire midfield up and then United have an opportunity to go and score two more and he can't repeat that trick tomorrow. It just can't happen. Okay. Daniel, just quick thoughts on 30 seconds. United, Manchester City. Which way is that game going? I can't predict. <laughs> um, Look, it's, it's if good. you can't predict, that means that the United team good right now. No, it's, it's, you see, it's not like it's the fact of the matter is that mm. Ten Hag has, after the first two games, he's gone away from what we knew he wanted to do, what we know he wants to do. He's gone very pragmatic. And the Manchester United teams that have beaten Man City over the past, let me say, three, four seasons have used a template, a certain template, and that's a low block and counter attack. With Martial coming back, Rashford coming back, Anthony is fit. Um, United's entire front line is fit. There's, there's firepower there to hurt Manchester City. And if Ten Hag does what I know he will do on Sunday, that is approach it with a counter-attacking mentality, then Manchester City will, will have something to think about. Because also remember, in as much as City have been dominant this season, yeah. they've also shown glimpses of, of, of their weaknesses against Dortmund, against Newcastle, against Crystal Palace. They've shown that, especially when they are facing very direct attackers. So against Crystal Palace, it was Zaha who was running at them at every opportunity on a counter-attack. Against um, um, uh, Newcastle, it was Alan C. Maxima. I was able to isolate John Stones and hit him one-on-one. -on -one. Against Dortmund, it was Modest who was doing that direct running. So I think the template is there. As to whether Man United can score more than one, because you know for sure that Manchester City have a goal in this game. That is That is... Uh, 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 where where I'm, I'm a bit dicey. But look, honestly, I can't predict. Can't All predict. I know is I'll enjoy myself. Quick updates before I move on to coach for the final word. So what's happening is that the Williams brothers are wrecking havoc in the Spanish La Liga. So in the 10th minute, Inaki scored, assisted by Nico Williams. In the 62nd minute, Nico has scored, assisted by Inaki. And Inaki has also had a goal disallowed as well. So, so Inaki, one goal, one assist. Yeah. We are waiting for those to, re see, we to don't get manifest. It. We want it in the Black Stars. For those of you who don't just, know... Just, just a quick yeah. note. Mm -hmm. You're talking about updates. Yeah. Something very interesting. CAF has announced yeah. that the 2025 AFCON has been taken Taking away from, from Guinea. Guinea. <laughs> so this weekend, they, they, so they are going to open bits again yeah. for countries to... Throwing the yeah. and and for those who like their video games, Ghana is actually on FIFA 23 now. Yeah, yeah. It never it, it doesn't happen a lot, but this is a World Cup here, so the game is coming with a World Cup package. So the Ghana's Black Stars are in the mix as far as the FIFA game is. I'm happy about it, but it is what it is. Coach, no more. Ten Hag versus Guardiola. They say it's the bold derby. 
I'm a fan of The Lord is my baby. Thank, thank you. I mean, you're the Lord is my baby. Which way is this one going? Look, oh my goodness, it's going to be tight. I think Man Manchester City starts the game as favorite. For United to make this very interesting, they cannot afford to concede the first goal. Hmm. Because if they were to concede the first goal, then the game plan will have to be abandoned. And mm -hmm. abandoning that game plan will spare Man City on to cause more havoc. So Ten Hag has got serious decisions to make. Honestly, I don't expect to see Ronaldo in the starting lineup. Honestly, I don't expect even to see Marcia and Rashford start the game. Marcia back from injury? Yes. Today the, the coach said he's back from injury. I would have... He should find a way of playing both Casemiro and Tomini mm -hmm. in that midfield. Alongside Eriksen, with Bruno Fernandes being used as a false number nine. So that he can trigger the press as and when they decide to press the ball. Because I think if United were to do that, and they should capitalize on the ball holding skill and ability of Anthony and Jaden Sancho with Casemiro's leadership and experience in such big game being brought to the part. Because look, that Manchester City midfield, without a doubt, will have Rod Rodri, will have Bernardo Silva, and will have Kevin De Bruyne. Mm. That I am definitely sure of. They'll be folding. I don't know who may play on the right. Grealish. Oh, no, no, no. On the Grealish. right. Grealish. Grealish will start. Maybe Maris oh, or... Because I, I'm, I'm very certain he will start. Because look, I think if you were to start Grealish, I think Dalo will handle him. Because Dalo is on form now. And because Grealish don't, uh, does not have the pace to go past him, I think Dalo will handle him. Hmm. I want to see... Everybody's talking about the Martinez, Ellen Holland, Button. Button. This is not the first time the two gentlemen are coming up against each other. We saw it when Ajax played against Dortmund. The difference here is that maybe because Man City have got better technical players than Dortmund, the pass may, may more or less make Ellen Haaland's uh, job a bit easier for him. Mm -hmm. The 1v1, if you have your money, go bet on Martinez. You mean the butcher will be at work? If I turn it to more simple no more. <laughs> Charlie. Because only Argentina be any of my Kajiwani. <laughs> That's the show from us. Spoil day, spoil day. Oh, Chichi. On the debut shout outs. Oh, Chichi. Make Chichi start. Oh, Chichi. No, chichi for no, start. It's called debut privileges. Yes. Oh, Chichi. I hear, I hear. Oh, so I get like the list chow. So hey, hey, this guy. <laughs> oh, Chichi. <laughs> Ah, go, ahead, go, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, please. Okay, please. Okay, go ahead. Oh, this one's my dad, mm, yeah. Carlos Ofuemanson, listening to us. Nice one. Um, from Ashaman Zeno. There's also Mr.